my outfit. I appreciate it so much. I posted these three options over the weekend and it wasn't even close. Viewers overwhelmingly <laughs> chose this bright yellow That's a floral dress. dress. Yeah, we're thinking spring, right? I matched the set too. I know. I feel like I'm like grunge fall, but <laughs> grunge that's how it feels fall. outside. I like it. You're right. <laughs> it is a little chillier today. Taylor, thank you so much for being here Hi. to kick off Monday. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Did you have a good weekend? I know you were busy cooking. I did. <laughs> yes. It was really low key. I didn't do like a lot this weekend. Sometimes it's nice just to sleep on the weekend. It is very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Especially on Saturday. Saturday when it rains so much. Yeah, or, yeah. You know, just dreary, I guess. Yeah, but I found myself chefing in the kitchen. Okay, I like that. <laughs> and so I make cauliflower tacos. Now, doesn't that look like chicken? Yeah, it looks so like chicken. are these like cauliflower tater tots? Or? No, it's just regular cauliflower. So I got the recipe from the Cheesecake Factory because okay. I went and I had it for the first time. I'm like, oh, this is so good. So basically, I just dipped the cauliflower in olive oil and then breadcrumbs. Oh. And then just seasoned it to my liking. And the breadcrumbs gives it that, you know, like chicken texture almost. Uh -huh. And so voila, there you have it. I had like cut up some spinach. <laughs> I had some like pineapple salsa and cilantro sauce. It was so good. Okay. I'm trying to eat healthier. And so I'm trying to like trick my brain into thinking, you know, you're having regular food. I love <laughs> It's just this. a bit different. I want this recipe. My husband and I, on our plan, we've learned you can basically replace anything with cauliflower. <laughs> yes, and I didn't know that. Like, that was yeah. my first time ever really having cauliflower. You had to season it. Right, yeah. you have to see. They say the same thing with tofu, and I haven't tried tofu yet. Have you? Okay. No, I haven't. Yeah. Um, well, hey, you know, something I did over the weekend was the DSM Book Festival. Their last weekend's coming up this coming weekend. I got to take part. I got to interview. She's in the bottom right corner, Laura Prescott. She wrote the book. The Secrets We Kept, and uh, oh, cool. it's such a great book, so fun talking to her, so that was virtual, and we're going to have um, a segment coming up where you can do online or in person, it involves flowers, so lots of fun going on there. The other thing that's been really fun on Friday, we went to uh, Habitat for Humanity, mm -hmm. got to work on a house there, because you know, we're trying to see who can raise the most money. Do you see what I'm wearing on my head, Taylor? A yellow helmet. It's actually gold. It's gold. Yes. And okay. that. Oh, okay, I see it. But now. it does look yellow. Yeah. It does look, but my point <laughs> is, it's gold because apparently that um, is sort of uh, the winning team gets that gold helmet. Oh. So I borrowed you're it. You're manifesting it. To it out, <laughs> take it out on site. Yeah, because news is winning in our little friendly competition. So. Um, we'd love for anyone who can make a donation to choose the Hello Iowa team, maybe. We, we really appreciate it. It's such a good cause. Um, we're trailing news right now, but Habitat for Humanity. Um, it was so cool to see the volunteers working out there. And uh, the siding, all the home repairs that are really critical um, for, for people. So the, yeah, there you can see news is the red helmet. They are winning. So good job, okay. Taylor. You're on yeah. the news team. <laughs> Hell, yeah. I was the underdog though. Yes. We'll come back. We're, we're coming through. <laughs> we're coming through. So yeah, just go to our website, who13.com. We have a banner there for you to get involved. Lots going on this month that we'll continue to talk about. Yeah, for sure. That's exciting. I want to come out and help one time. Yes, we're all going to. Go. Yeah, we got to sure. sign up. So, yeah. Okay, we got some hot topics this Monday, Taylor. We do. So the first one isn't the happiest. Obviously, you know, um, over the weekend or like last Friday, um, DMX, the rapper, and Prince Philip yes. both passed DMX from an overdose at just 50 years old. Oh, gosh. Which is crazy to think about, yes. And then Prince Philip at... 99 so definitely lived a, <laughs> a full complete life. full yes. life yes. um yeah and so it's crazy because it's so drastically different both their lives and you know dmx was so young just 50 yeah and prince philip at 99 so crazy to think about but the biggest news around prince philip dying is that the royal family has confirmed funeral plans and in those funeral plans, Prince Harry will be there. He actually um, arrived in the UK, I think, this morning. That's what I heard. Yep. But the thing about that is Meghan will not be accompanying him. Apparently, she did not get um, the clearance to travel from her doctor because, you know, she's pregnant with her and Harry's baby girl. Mm -hmm. And so she's going to stay put in California during all of this. And so the hoopla around that is, is that true? Or is the royal family just covering it up because they didn't want her there? But I kind of personally think it's okay for her not to be there because I think her and Harry together would just overshadow 
the funeral and celebrating Prince Philip. I agree because I feel like a lot of attention's already been paid to it. Right. And also, I've traveled being pregnant before, and it's not fun. I've never traveled imagine. that far, so <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably best on all accounts. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine. So yeah, so sad news, but I think that's for the best that mm -hmm. she stays put in California. So the second story, I don't know, are you a fan of Shameless, the show that's on Showtime? So I started watching it, and I, I haven't finished it, but it, yes, it's, it's good. It's an acquired What's taste. Going on? But <laughs> yeah, so they actually <laughs> just wrapped up the series. Oh, really? Yesterday, yes, yeah, season 11. So get this, it's an Emmy Award winning show. 11 seasons? Yes, what? it was on Showtime for 11 se seasons in 10 years in total. So that's a long time for a show. That means, yeah. it, you know, definitely had a core fan base. So one of the stars on the show, Emmy Russell, she played Fiona Gallagher. So if mm -hmm. you know the show, everybody loves Fiona. Well, she left the show in season nine, right? Oh. Okay. And so with the season 11 coming up, everybody thought she was going to come back, you know, for the big series finale yesterday, and she wasn't there. So fans were like, where's Fiona? And the showrunner for the show, John Wells, he came out and said that he was talking to Emmy Russell about coming back to the show, but COVID actually stopped it because they started writing and filming in the thick of COVID last year. Hmm. And so they were like, oh, because of the pandemic, she was based out in New York. They couldn't get her to Chicago or LA in time oh. to shoot. So yeah, me and Amanda was talking, uh, the producer of Hello Iowa, and she was like, it might be something else. So okay. <laughs> we well, don't know, but that's what they're saying. That's why she wasn't there. I'll have to catch up on that. Okay. Yes. And then the third one, I'm so excited about this, the Met Gala. So <gasps> yes. So you know. It's back? Yes. Yes. So it was virtual last year, but they're bringing it back this year. And get this, it's going to be a two-part series of the ball. Oh. So yeah. So this year, it's actually going to come out in September, the first one. Okay. And then the second Met Ball is going to happen May 5th of 2022. Oh, so they're okay. doing a, a two-part series and they did release the theme of this year's ball and it's in America, a lexicon of fashion. So oh. all of the fashion will be around American fashion, which is interesting because I don't think they've done that before. Yeah. It's all very foreign things to Americans. So to have it be American fashion, I feel like it's going to be a lot of denim. <laughs> You think I so? think it's going to be for American fashion. When I think of American fashion, you I think, think of jeans. denim. Yes. Okay. So I'll be interested to see who comes. Or maybe like Ralph Lauren. Yes. Red, red white, something and blue? like that. Yeah, know. yeah, yeah. So okay. that is coming back. So we can all be excited about that. Something that we can style here, like look at who wore the best yes. dress. I'm so excited to go back to that. We so. can't wait. It's fun. Yes. It's always fun to see the fashion. Yes, I know. Taylor, thanks for being here. We so appreciate it. Of Happy course. Monday. Happy Monday. We're going to have a great week. Yes, we are. We love having you here. Well, stay with us because in today's Hello Beautiful, we are saying goodbye to wrinkles. It's Botox 101 with the spa at West Glen. First, we're in the Hello Iowa kitchen with a sweet combination for a healthy salad that's not only good for your waistline, but also your brain. Let's do some trivia first, though. It's in honor of National Grilled Cheese Day. Here's today's Who New question. What was the grilled cheese sandwich called from the 1920s until the 1970s? A, cheese dream, B, heavenly cheese, or C, cheesy bread? Stay tuned for that answer. We're back in just one minute.